Hey guys, welcome back to, I believe this is part 8 of our Unreal Engine Fundamentals tutorials. So, I hope you guys are learning lots um, and hopefully things have been helpful. Today we are going to continue looking at the UI and we're going to get this reload bar to work. Um, it's going to increase all the way while we are reloading. We're also actually going to hide it and show it depending on if we are reloading or not. Now, before we do that, we are actually going to update and improve our code for actually reloading. If I go into our BP rifle here, uh, so far when we hit R, it's just going to call this event and then that's going to wait two seconds and then we're going to um, reload. So let's actually get rid of that delay. And I'm going to compile, save. So that should actually get rid of all the time needed to reload, but we're actually gonna put that back into the player. So when we hit R, we are going to want to set a new variable. Um, I'm gonna call this is reloading. And so we click R, we say that yes, we are reloading and then what we are going to do, we are going to wait two seconds or thereabouts. Actually, let's uh, make this a little bit more complicated. Uh, let's go back into our BP underscore rifle. Let's create a new variable and I'm going to call this reload time. It's called, yeah, it's reload time. And I'm going to set this to uh, float. I'm going to compile, save and set a default time of, of two seconds. Now, if I go back to the UI, oh, sorry, first person, and go to our weapon that we have here, I'm going to drag out, and I'm going to get reload time. Print. So, we could just set up a delay, but because we want to have a bar fill up, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new timer. Um, uh, don't be scared of them. And I'm going to call this one here, set timer by event. So what this effectively does is it starts a timer and once the timer is over, it's going to call an event. And our event is going to be a new custom event. And I'm gonna call this reload complete. Let's drag that out into here. And when the reload complete event gets called, our weapon is going to reload. Something else that I'm going to do is take this out here and I'm going to promote this to a variable. And I'm going to call this um, reload timer. Now, that means that we can actually use data from this timer and that data includes how much time for example is left. So we can give that a little go just really really fast just to see how things are progressing. I'm going to shoot a few times, I'm going to reload, it's going to take one, two, brilliant and then our ammo is back up to five. Something before I forget is when our reload complete is done we are going to set is reloading back to false and uh, I have an idea let's um let's do something a little bit different let's um set up a new branch here and what we're going to do is we're going to see if we are reloading um, oh, maybe we should. Sorry, I'm going to flip this logic. Sorry, apologies. Um, can't make my mind up. We are going to check if we are not reloading. And if we are not reloading, then we're going to start reloading. And we're going to create a timer. And when that's done, we're going to complete reloading. Now, the purpose of this here is basically that we can't just spam R and just keep on trying to reload because that's just going to keep on stopping us from reloading 
So in case you press it twice or, or something like that, um, just a nice little quality of life thing there. Now I'm going to come back into UI game and let's go into the progress bar. I want to come down to visibility and I'm going to create binding. Now let's go to this one here um, and I'm going to drag out from the little green. Uh, I believe this is going to be a select. Yes, it's going to be a select. S select that to an integer. Now, we're going to get the player. Get the weapon. Oh, we don't even need that. We're going to get the player. Um, and then we're going to check is reloading. I'm going to drag that in there. Now, if it is reloading we're going to set it to visible otherwise we're going to set it to hidden um, something else that we are going to do is similar to actually we don't actually have to do that one for for this one perfect yeah um, right let's go to uh, designer sorry guys I'm trying to speed to this one because I want to get the two this video and the video that's probably gonna be uploaded before this I would like to get them up on the same day Let's go to the progress bar and let's go to this percentage here. I'm going to create a new binding and we're going to come down to player and we're going to get the player. Now, what we are going to get is the reload timer and we also want to get that weapon. So the percentage is going to be made up of how much time has passed in the reload timer divided by the overall reload time that the gun has. So get reload time. And then this one is we are going to get elapsed time. So if no time, so if one second has elapsed and the overall time it takes is two seconds that would be let's say 50 percent or half or 50 percent so that's how the maths are going to work on that let's pull that out and we're going to return that now something that we are going to do for this one is we're actually going to make sure that this weapon here is valid so let's bring out a branch um, I did the quick version there, just hold B and click and that will do it for you. And we're going to get weapon is valid. Maybe we'll just drag this out just to make this a little bit tidier. Brill. And I like to set a default. Cool. Now let's just... Uh, give that a, a little go. I'm going to hit R and as you can see I am reloading and when it reloads it's finished. I also cannot spam my R key which is another good one. Now just for one little quality of life tweak that I am going to make I am actually going to stop us from reloading. Um, I'm going to stop us from reloading if our ammunition is full, because what would the, the point be? Uh, that's number one. And number two, if you shoot the gun, you will are going to stop reloading. So let's do that now. So let's get the weapon. And let's get the current magazine. And let's get the max magazine. And we're going to check that they are not equal. 
So because we have two booleans, we can drag them into there. If either we are reloading or the magazine and the is it, it, full, we're not going to, to reload. So we can give that a test in just a moment. Now guys, with that, I'm gonna call it a day on our basic UI. I hope that you've uh, learned one or two things anyway. Um, in our next bunch of episodes, I think we are going to look at pickups. So currently there is actually one pickup in the game and that is the rifle, but we are going to work on a health pickup. And I think maybe what we might do is, is add one or two extra ones, who knows? Anyway, till then guys, stay safe, stay sound, stay awesome, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Uh, one of my friends actually said, that I, one of the testers who actually watches the, the videos before other people, he actually said, oh, maybe it'd be a good idea to, to leave homework for people. So if you want homework or an idea of where you can kind of practice and, you know, use what you've learned already, how about you add the player's health to the screen? Or maybe you want to display how many zombies are left over in the wave. That could be a cool one too. Anyway, stay safe, stay sound, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. This is a really, really long outro. I'll catch you in the next video.